my name is Soham. I'm a co-founder and chief architect at Rubrik. So let me just kind of walk you through, through some folks might be a little confused why we are here. Why is Rubrik talking at Security Field Day? And in fact, you know, like when we started the company in 2014, um, if you asked us, what do we do? we will be like, hey, we do data management. We do data protection. We never call ourselves a data security company. Right? The problem that we saw in the market was, um, you know, hey, backup and recovery, very, very fragmented, very hard to do because there were lots of different vendors, uh, very kludgy architectures, extremely insecure. Very often you would have, uh, you know, data movers who would capture data from the source systems and who would essentially write over completely insecure protocols. You know, like very common architecture would be one where you would capture data and then you would write it over NFS into a completely insecure location. So you have your backup data, but is essentially living in a place which anybody can come and wipe out. So that was a big problem. Uh, there was zero automation. There was zero focus on quick recovery, right? So you you know, hear about, hey, we can compress this data really, really well, but can you recover the data? How long does it take to get it back? Nobody was answering those questions. So we saw an opportunity in the market and that's kind of, we entered the market and you know, we, our product launched in 2015. And what we came out with was uh, essentially, a, you know, it's a hyper-converged um, data protection solution where we kind of built it from ground up, right? So we essentially had security principles baked into the product from get-go because we kind of believed in this web scale architecture where, you know, hey, if you write any piece of data into the system, it should be immutable. Uh, you should believe that failures will happen. You should believe that the network is compromised. So that's what there would be no open protocols. Uh, you know, we, we had a clustered system where we believed that you know nodes could be compromised. So how do you make sure that there is data integrity despite all of these failure events? And this was kind of because we took some web scale principles where you know you are always designing designing for these failure scenarios. So again, so we came up with um, a system that was essentially native air gapped, uh, scaled out, and it was again built for automation from day one. So this was the basic rubric product. It was essentially the most robust data protection solution that you could want. Still no data security. Um, so let's fast forward a little bit. So our the first time we heard the term ransomware was in 2017. I had, uh, you know, I Googled it up. There was very little to read about ransomware back then, right? And the way it happened was there was a customer who said, hey, I've been hit with ransomware. And we were like, well, I don't know what that is. Then he said, well, some of my files are encrypted. We were like, well, what's the big deal? You have the backups, just go and get the data. Right? It's a simple problem. That's what we're here for. And the customer was like, well, well, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I can't really just do that. First of all, I don't even know what the overall impact surface area is. All I know is that one folder I tried to open, I can't get to it. But I really don't know what the overall surface area is. Uh, the second thing was, well, if I, I don't know the kind of data that I have lost. So this guy was a, essentially, this is a hardware store out of Australia. And he, he specifically could not get his, you know, like customer receipts. That was the big problem that they had. So he was really worried, hey, am I losing customer's credit card information? That would be a big problem. Uh, the other question that he asked was, again, all of this will be very obvious to you all, but he said, look, I don't know where the bad guy is lurking. So unless I clean up my environment, I can't go back. So our simple premise that as long as we have your data and as long as we can get it back, um, you are in good shape, that kind of fell apart. And the customer's ask was, hey, tell me what's wrong with my data. Help me recover in a clean, safe way. Don't reinfect me by, hey, I get go back in time one week. Oh, by the malware, malware is back in action, right? So that cannot happen. So we realized that we had to solve a, some problems beyond simply being a secure custodian of data. And the question was, you know, is there something that Rubrik can do here, right? You know, we could say that, hey, this is not Rubrik's problem by some other vendor. And the, the interesting insight really is that we have a very unique vantage point in the enterprise. And what we have is a historical view of your data, right? So we have seen, you know, take any database, take any virtual machine, take any <laughs> server we are seeing how it has been changing over time. So with this historical view, we can kind of piece together the story of what has happened to your enterprise, which is, hey, 
which files changed from being you know, happy PDFs into encrypted files, which files got moved. We know when a particular malware entered the system. In fact, we know which systems got compromised first. We would know which systems the file appears in. Right? So this is like a very uh, unique vantage point by having this timeline view of the data. And the second thing was, again, we, you know, I, I talked about the web scale architecture that we put in place. It also gives us the ability to actually do these investigations. So it, it's not just that we have the data, we also had the ability to actually make these inferences uh, within the data. So, so we believe that there was, that we could do something here, right? But again, like in 2017, this was just a germ of an idea where we thought that, hey, there is, there is an opportunity here. Um, and again, over the course of, I would say last year, I mean, you know, it, it, maybe two years back, if you asked a person, why are you buying a data protection solution? They would say, oh yeah, you know, like there could be some earthquake somewhere or a variety of disaster scenarios that people would talk about, very rare disaster scenarios. But in the last one year, we have upwards of, you know, around 2% of our customers who have been hit with ransomware. And when this attack happens, they essentially come to a crippling halt, right? They, they're essentially out of action for seven days. Um, so again, this problem is very, very real. And we are kind of seeing the same story play out over and over again with our customers. So again, so what we realized, the big opportunity for us was, you, know, you take the you know, super secure um, data backup platform. That was kind of like the original rubric story. We pair that with what we call our observability suite, which kind of allows you to deeply introspect the data. And the end result is what we are calling as the data security platform, right? And, and this is, again, it's, it's security, it's, it's different from the other flavors of security that you might have seen, right? So we are not talking about firewalls. We are not talking about endpoint protection. We're kind of assuming that the bad guy has come in, or we're we are essentially assuming the bad guy will find a way of coming in. Our job is once the bad guy comes in, how do we make sure that data is secure and how quickly can we get you back up, um, up in operations? So that is gonna be the overall charter that we have taken on. And we are kind of calling that data security. 